and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. You're listening to Tuesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Down, Melody. Hug your pony's sides with your lower leg. And I know you can keep your back straighter than that. Right, now, as you come round to Kay, I want you to change the rein. No, it's sit for two. How many times do I have to tell you? You haven't changed diagonal. Look at his outside shoulder, for goodness sake. Alice, is everything all right? <sighs> I don't know what to do with this stupid girl. She just doesn't get it. Yes, when you're talking to her like that, it's hardly going to help, is it? Um, just take a couple more circuits in your own time, Melody. Uh, keep the rising trot and uh, check your diagonal. I'm sorry, Auntie Lillian. Well, what's up? You haven't seen yourself all day. Oh, I... Uh... I had a very broken night. You look pretty tired on Sunday, too. Have you not been sleeping well? No, it's not me. It's, uh... well, has Martha been keeping you awake? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's it. She's She's been a bit under the weather these last few days. Oh, dear. But what's up with her? Oh, you know, just a bit of a cold. Sniffly nose, that sort of thing. <laughs> poor little thing. Yeah. And poor you, too. Look, darling, why don't you take the rest of the day off? Oh, uh, no, no, I can... I can finish this lesson for you. Do you have any more this afternoon? No, this is my last. Well, there you are, then. Go home and put your head down for a couple of hours. I was going to do some things for the vet inspection on Friday. Well, I think it'd be best if you did that when you're a bit fresher, don't you? I am very tired. Mm, and you're not doing anyone any favours trying to push through it. I'll sort Melody out. All right, then. Thank you. Well, they don't actually say it's about Susan. Oh, come on, Ed. It's obvious. That's what everyone's going to think, isn't it? Well, yeah, probably. Any road, she's going to be getting something out of it. George will do a good job editing those shop videos together. I just worry who they're going to pick on next. Well, you've got to admit, they are quite funny, Ed. Oh, you might not think that if they do one about you. Yeah, well, they wouldn't. Wouldn't they? If you ask me, no one's safe. Come in. Only me. Oh, you're all right, Will. Yeah, Dad said you were going to look for some tree surgery equipment this evening. Uh, yeah, that's what we've been doing. So we got sidetracked with George's latest video. Oh, I thought I could give you a hand. Oh, well... Uh, that's nice of you, Will. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, how are you doing? Well, uh, this one seems pretty good, no? You're looking at auction sites? Yeah. Well, I suppose they do new gear as well. No, we're looking at second hand. Oh. No, well, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, this shouldn't be, you know, a typical Grundy business. What do you mean? All cutting costs, you know, making do. It's not going to be. We're not going to be buying everything second hand. No, things like boots and gloves. And helmets. Obviously, we don't want ones that have already been worn. And safety gear, it makes sense to buy new there. Yeah. But we've got to get four chainsaws. Four? Or two each. Yeah, one standard one and one top handled for aerial work. Yeah, for each of us. Mm. They're the most expensive things by miles, so if we get them second hand, we'll save a packet. Yeah, but your chainsaws are your most important tools. Yep, we know that. You, you don't want to be compromising on those. But we ain't going to be. We want it to be a proper business too, Will. We're not going to be buying no rubbish. And there's lots of quality gear around, still in great nick. Look, take a look at this one. Evening. Hi, Lillian. You seem to be behind the bar a lot at the moment. <laughs> Covering a few shifts until we find a replacement for Emma. Ah, of course. Have you ever done bar work, Chris? Huh? Oh, no, I'm busy enough, thanks. Oh. It was a shame you'd fit in well here. We could do with a handsome man on the team. <laughs> Don't let Kenton hear you say that. 
<laughs> no, I will stick to this side of the bar. Well, what can I get you then? Well, actually, I'm not here for a drink. I've lost a knife. A knife? Yeah, it's just a folding pocket knife, wooden handle. I'm going around places I've been recently to see if anyone's found it. Um, I don't know. Um, if it has been handed in, it should be in the lost property cupboard. Right. But I'm not sure where we keep the key to it. Can, can you wait until Jolene's come off the phone? Oh, yeah, of course. I bet you're looking forward to your stay at Grey Gables. Oh, no, I'm not doing it. Oh, why ever not, darling? Well, it's a bit grown up for Martha, and I didn't fancy it on my own, so I have given it to Harrison and Fallon. Oh, that's very nice of you. Hmm. I'm sure they'll have a lovely time. More than I would, for sure. I was sorry to hear Martha's been poorly. You are? Well, has she been keeping you up in the night, too? Sorry, Lillian, I... Like she has with Alice. Is Martha not well? So I understand. She was fine when I had her at the weekend. Sunday, you mean? No. Because, well, didn't Alice have her Saturday night? No. She was with me Friday evening to Monday morning. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps I misunderstood. Sounds like it. Or maybe Alice got it muddled. She was very tired. So Martha's been keeping Alice up? She was dropping on her feet by the afternoon. She hasn't said anything to me about well, it. I had to send her... Oh. I don't believe it. Sorry? The neck of that woman. Sorry, Chris, I'd uh, better run. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Brian, Miranda! This is a surprise! Evening, Lillian. To what do I owe the pleasure? We have a table booked in the restaurant. Very nice. Table for two, is it? Uh, For three, actually. Brian's Kate will be joining us. (laughs) How lovely. What a treat for Brian's Kate. Uh, yes. Of all the gin joints in all the world, you walked into mine. Where better than Brown's local in his home village? Indeed. We have nothing to be ashamed of, after all. Do we, Brian? Certainly not. Oh, good. You haven't gone through yet. No, we've just arrived, darling. Have you come straight from work, Kate? Well, yes. How lucky you are. Sorry? To be able to wear something so unstructured in the workplace, unapologetically bohemian. Well... I don't think anyone should be judged on what they choose to wear. Good for you. Formal dress codes are an archaic remnant of a class-ridden patriarchal society. Uh, Before we get into all that, shall we go to our table? Good idea. It's still this way, I take it? Yes, through the plumbers. Best of luck, Kate. So, how do you see things going, Miranda? In what regard? In regard to you and my father. Would you say that it's a serious relationship? Kate! I think everything is worth taking seriously, don't you? Especially pleasure. Yes, but what I mean is, do you envisage a future where you might move in together, for example? Kate, may I remind you about the talk we had when we agreed on this little get-together? I'm just making conversation. You're conducting an interrogation. We haven't even opened the menus yet. It's perfectly all right, Brian. Given the circumstances, it would be strange if your family didn't have questions for me. You see, Miranda understands. And I'm perfectly happy to answer them. That chainsaw's had even less use than the first one we showed you. OK, yeah, you've made your point. Well, don't get us wrong. It's really good of you to care. And you've been very generous with the loan, Well. But we don't want to just burn through it if we don't have to. No, I mean, obviously, we all reckon the business is going to be a success, but there's no guarantee how quickly it's going to get off the ground. Yeah, and we need to be cautious. Yeah, I get it. But this gear, it's a vital investment. A lot's riding on us getting it right. Yeah, we know that. And don't worry, we ain't going to, you know, do an Eddie. No, no, we're going about this the Ed and M way, aren't we? Yeah, or the M and Ed way. Mm. All right, fair enough. As long as you keep the standards high, then I'm happy. The divorce settlement was very fair, especially considering the assets I bought to the marriage in the first place. Mm. And you live where? Uh, Oxfordshire, near Banbury. Right. Do you own that? I do. Oh. Well, it's not too far away, then. And for the record, I also have a flat in Belsize Park and a cottage in Polperro. Oh, So, Miranda isn't a gold digger, if that's what you're worried about. No, of course not. I didn't imagine that for a moment. And as far as the future is concerned, (laughs) when you get to our age, you're happy simply to entertain the possibility of a future, 
without worrying too much exactly what it will entail. Am I right, Brian? Absolutely. I have no expectations of any relationship with your father beyond our next rendezvous. If we continue to enjoy each other's company, then what more can one ask for? Right. Happy, Kate? Well, yes, actually. Miranda's been very frank. Wonderful. Uh, do you think we can order some food now? Certainly. Actually, I have some questions for Kate. Do you? It does work both ways, you know. Just as your family would like to know about me, I'd like to know a little more about them. Very well. Kate could be a serial killer, for all I know. I'm sorry. Uh, one can't be too careful. Well, I can assure you I'm not. No. But do you conduct pagan rituals at, um, what's it called, spiritual... Home. And yes, I do, actually. Especially at the major festival periods. I see. We've just had a small seed blessing ceremony for Astara, for example. And uh, tell me, Kate, exactly how many children do you have on how many continents? Three on two. And what sort of a question is that? Uh, a slightly inappropriate one. <laughs> oh. Like the ones I've been asking you, you mean? I'll leave you to judge that. I see. Um, yes. Well, sorry. Maybe I did go a bit far. No apology necessary. Thank you. But I think I can set your mind at rest on one important point. I have no intention of replacing Jennifer, even if that were possible. I understand. I'm here for Brian. No one else. Well, that's very fair. And I like plain speaking. Well played, Miranda. Thank you. And you have a good aura. Goodness. High praise indeed. And a first. <laughs> now, now, look. Do you think we could start this evening over again? Is Martha all right? Yeah, yeah, she's watching her favourite cartoon. She'll be fine for a few minutes. No, I mean, why didn't you tell me she hasn't been well? Uh, who told you that? Lillian. Uh, she was quite concerned, Alice. No, it, it's a... Um, uh, Martha was just a bit unsettled, that's all. A bad dream or something. Lillian said you'd had a very disturbed night. Well, not really, Chris. A and that she had to send you home. Uh, she's blowing it out of proportion. I, I had a nap before nursery pickup, and I'm, I'm fine now. What about the weekend, though? What about it? You told Lillian that Martha's been poorly since then. Uh, no, I didn't. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. You know Lillian. She's, she's lovely, but she can be a bit scatty at times. I've always thought she was pretty sharp. Honestly, Martha's fine, I'm fine. Honestly, Chris, there's, there's nothing to worry about. spot effects on the arches uh, just uh, yeah, any are you what we call foley then uh, kind of yep first. okay and and these are these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production uh, yep that's uh, the ball bar that's this one yep that's I mean Hayley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came it's uh, due in two months uh, not much chance of that now no I mean it would have been a stretch for them financially mind but Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think the Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community at whatever